And now back to your regularly scheduled program. What's good to YouTube? How's everyone doing? Welcome to the channel or welcome back to yet another live reaction video. If you're new here for the first time, my name is TMR. And since you clicked on this video, you might as well subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave your comments down below and enjoy this reaction video. What's good to YouTube? What's good, TMR gang? Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to yet another live reaction video. I'm your girl, TMR. Thank y'all so much for stopping what you were doing and meet me over in this damn break room, y'all. Oh boy. All right. Y'all see the title. Okay. Uh, we got a Kendra G reaction. I know a lot of you guys have been asking for them. And baby, this one, I need y'all to brace yourself because baby, this one is a doozy. Okay. I actually got quite a few coming up for y'all because I just haven't, um, I haven't had time to get them all together, but I do have some coming up for y'all. And I think it, I think this one in particular is a good conversation. Wait a minute, y'all. I'm having some issues. I think this one in particular will be a good conversation, okay? Because I, I, it's definitely something to look out for, you know, when you're out dating, you know, definitely looking for the red flags. But we're, we're getting ready to talk about a guy named Neil, all right? I believe, he, I believe he said he was from Alabama. Don't quote me to that, but I believe that's where he said he's from. And, Ala, and Neil is a man who experienced a traumatic experience with a man. He's, he's dated men pretty much all his life. Um, I'm going to just say his adult life. And because of this traumatic experience, Neil is wanting to now date women. Okay. He feels like God is punishing him for his decisions on being attracted to men. All right. So I think we definitely need to get into this. Welcome everybody. Welcome to the break room. Please make sure you clock into the break room. You do that by hitting that like button. And y'all, we're going to get right on into it. Um, let me see. Hopefully we got time. For, I got another one for y'all, but this one might take up all our time. You ready? Yeah. Eddie? How you doing? Uh, I guess so. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm Neil. Neil, where are you calling me from, love? Uh, I'm calling you from, from uh, Birmingham, Alabama. Okay, do me a favor. Just wipe your screen. All right. Okay, there we go. Okay, don't cut your head All off. Right. My bad. Can you see? Yep, you got it. All right. So, Neil, Birmingham, Alabama. How old are you? I'm 40. Years old. Okay. Don't cut your head off, honey. All right. My bad. I'm trying okay, to fix you up. All right. All right. Neil, Birmingham, Alabama, 40 years old. Do you have any kids? Uh, nah. Not currently. Not currently. Um, what's your zodiac sign? Um, I don't go by that. Okay. You don't believe that. That's fair. Um, yeah. What do you do for a living? I'm a wardrobe staff. I'm an activist as well. Wardrobe. You get paid to be an activist? No. It's not about well, money. Well, actually, what do you do for, for a living? Right. You donate your services oh. as well. You know what I'm saying? It's a not it's a called a nonprofit organization. Okay, fair enough. So how do you make money? Is it wardrobe stylist? Okay. Yes, ma'am. Again, I don't want your head cut off, okay? All right. Oh, okay. All right. So we got Neil Birmingham, Alabama, 40 years old. Don't do, doesn't believe in zodiacs. I can respect that. Um, no children, and he's a wardrobe stylist and an activist. What kind of woman are you looking for, love? <sighs> That's the whole thing. Um, the kind of woman I'm looking for. I will have to look for a woman that is um, accepting of all lifestyles. Um, we living in a world right now where everybody's so judgmental, and um, and I'm just looking for a woman that can accept a man that has, hasn't has been with a woman in a couple decades. Oh, so are you not looking for a woman, you're looking for a man? No, that's not what I said. Did you hear me clearly? Don't start that. I'm trying to listen, Neil. 
<clears throat> oh, he said, uh, uh, listen here, get, get some of that wax out your ears, Kendra. He got real defensive. Um, sir, calm down. Like you, you're showing signs of being an angry man. So as y'all heard, Neil hasn't dated a woman in a couple of decades. So I'm just going to say uh, pretty much all his adult life, he's been dating men. Okay. And he's coming on this show to find a woman. And he didn't really tell us what type of woman that he's looking for as far as the characteristics. The only thing he asked was to not be judgmental of his past. Okay. Do you want a black woman, a white woman, a Hispanic woman, Asian woman? Do you want a tall one, short one, round one, slim one? Like, sir, like he got he got into it really quick. Here's the deal. Yes, ma'am. I want to be respectful. Okay. Oh, well, that wasn't respectful. I'm sorry. Because I, I said I was looking for a woman. And I told well, you me, well, a well, woman well, that ain't accepted. Let me, let me tell you why I said that. Because in the beginning, you said. So you want a woman that's open-minded to our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And then you also mm -hmm. said you haven't been with a woman in a couple of decades. So that's why I said, right. are you interested in men? No. I said I was looking for a woman. So being Actually, that- no. Me being Actually, no. Actually, no. I said, what kind of woman you looking for? You didn't right. say and that's I answered why I was getting the question, you. correct? That's what, so so the question. here's the deal. Have you- Pause. Now, based off this two-minute interaction, especially him saying that he wants to convert over to women now who would be so ready and eager to jump in his dms like you can't even obviously there was some miscommunication right and and we know kendra at times she don't be listening right so we we know that about kendra so there was some miscommunication so instead of him being on the defensive super aggressive why wouldn't you just calm down and say well kendra i'm sorry i think you misunderstood me i was my thing is, you was, in my opinion, he was giving us too much, too much information in the beginning. You could have came on and told us that you're looking for a woman, what type of woman you're looking for, and then gradually give us the backstory. You you immediately threw that in our face. In my opinion, sounds like you're not finished dealing with men because you you immediately and if you heard him initially, he said he's an advocate. And we'll hear what that's what he's an advocate for. Do, have you dated men in the past? Yes. Okay. Okay. So are you no longer dating men? Um, I'm not interested. No, I haven't dated a man in a while as well. Okay. So, so you have dated women in the past. Yeah, and over a couple of decades. So a couple of decades, decades is 10. So 20 years ago? Approximately. Okay. <laughs> and uh what made you want to start dating women now? Um, I want to live a life that's pleasing to the Lord. And that's what I feel like God wants for me. Do you want to have kids? I do. do. Um, can I just ask this blanket statement? Because I've had this on my show at times. Men that dated men, but decided to date women. But they also wanted to be fathers. So do you think it's because you want to have children you want to start dating women? N no, my belief in Christ, Jesus Christ. No, not at all. Okay. So just when did this dedication to women come back around for you? Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I'm uh, 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 sorry. Well, let's take a moment, Neil. I, was... I, mean, I want to be honest with you. This is a big show. So we can proceed, okay. but I do want you to understand that okay. a lot of people are going to watch this. So are you fine with that? Yes, ma'am. Okay. I just want to make, I want to be completely honest with you. This is an international show. So I want to be respectful. Do you want to, we can move on. I don't want you to talk about something you don't want to talk about. No, I think it's, I think it's okay. needed. Um, it's time. Okay. Um, um, I just, um, I was a victim of a hate crime. A guy tried to tried to kill me and um you know i just i, I just i just feel like though i wasn't at fault 
I just feel like God is just sending us signs that we need to, you know, live a different lifestyle, you know? So I'm taking my, my pain as a sign that God wants me to do something differently. Um, not minimizing this man's pain, um, not minimizing what I would, would say is some PTSD stemming from his traumatic experience. Um, sir, a woman is not what you need unless she has a degree in psychology. You need to speak to a therapist, maybe even a pastor, because I hear I hear him saying mentioning God. But do, do are you do you have a pastor that you have spoke with about your traumatic experience? Imagine a woman taking on all of this. See, this is what we talking about when you're when you're bringing baggage. He definitely is bringing baggage along with him. He had some he has some issues that he's dealing with that he hasn't dealt with. And instead of you dealing with your, your own issues, you want to immediately, you want to immediately jump into the arms of a woman. Now me personally, I feel like it's given more mommy issues as well too stemming from his traumatic experience of dealing with this man, but let's, let's let him finish explaining himself. So that's what, that's why I am. Okay. Okay. Have you gone to therapy or have you talked? I always want to be honest. I, I'm not under, I don't have any credentials as a therapy. So have you ever talked to anybody in, in a, as a therapist about this? Um, it's 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 been hard. It's a it's been a hard journey because I'm also I also feel like I'm being discriminated against by by the state. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 so let me say this, y'all. If you heard him say he's characterizing his traumatic experience as a hate crime, but if you listen more, it was an ex lover. So it wasn't a random person. It was somebody he was in a relationship with. The guy who tried to take my life, um, the way I survived was, uh, um, I had to um, use the gun that he tried to kill me with. I had to use it on him. And the state prosecutors are charging me when he, they know he came in with the gun, so they discriminating against me too, and they're trying to cover up that he's tried to gay bash me. <clears throat> so I'm, I, I'm fighting the courts for my right. Right now, they're trying to take rights away from gay people, <laughs> and, and I'm experiencing that right now. <laughs> My God, this is a lot. This clearly isn't the platform for this conversation, sir. He needs to be sitting in front of a professional, not Kendra G. Show. Why would you want a woman to come in in the in the in the midst of all this turmoil that you're dealing with? How, how is a woman supposed to handle this? Um, again, he's talking about his, his gay rights, but yet you're saying that you're not wanting to be gay anymore. So why are we concerned with your gay rights? If you're saying that you don't want to be gay anymore. Oh, oh, <laughs> Neil, let's take a moment. Let's take a moment. Neil. Let's, let's take a moment. Yeah. Let's take a moment. Take a moment. Let's take a moment. No, it's okay. Listen, listen. I, I try to. I understand. I People got to understand that Kendra G is a journalist. She's not a therapist. 
she's not a professional in that aspect, right? And, and we understand people are going through things, but a lot of times, in my opinion, when you're going through something, a friend is definitely needed at times, right? Depending on what you're going through. Yeah, a friend, a friend can definitely be helpful, but it, in this situation, I believe this man needs more than a friend, right? He, he definitely needs to seek some professional help. Um, a woman sitting next to him or on the phone with him is not what he needs. And it's unfortunate that he's the only thing he could think of is another woman. You know, it's nothing like a mother's love. It's, it's really given that he's also not on, on top of his traumatic experience. He received, he um, dealt with, with this man he was dealing with. It also seems like there's some, probably some, some trauma from, you know, the lack of love from his mother, but we'll, we'll listen to see what he says. People come on the show and it's, it's really, a, uh, I take it as an honor that people come on the show and they feel free to express themselves. So I want to, I want you, I want you to allow yourself to express yourself in the way you desire. I will, will say that I'm not sure. Do you think you're in a position to start dating right now with so much going on? Right now, you know, when you when you're dating somebody, you 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 are there for each other. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I feel like this is my personal belief, and a lot of times, some gay people don't like me because of how I feel. But I I just feel what God wants for me. I feel like God did put a woman on earth to support a man in more ways, even if it's more than sexual. And I feel like we all need that from a woman to someone just to have someone to talk to and support and show that they really care. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't know. It's just out of my, my experience being gay for over my whole life, you know, niggas don't care you know what i'm saying the niggas gonna be a nigga you know what i'm saying like you know even you know, even you know. even um i i disagree with that i feel like women and men both have the capacity to have empathy and sympathy it depends on what man or woman that you're dealing with so him saying ninjas don't care it's almost saying because you're a ninja too are you saying that if you got with a woman and she's experience some type of trauma and need some you know someone to talk to so a shoulder to lean on that you wouldn't be as empathetic empathetic to her because you're a man he i i, I think this man this previous relationship that he's had that he was in obviously it was very traumatic it was very toxic and he dealt with that toxicity because he obviously liked that person or even loved that person and it got to the point where it, you know, resulted in violence. Men saying N words don't care. Ooh, child. <laughs> men saying N words don't care. They don't care. <laughs> yeah, I wanna, I wanna be sympathetic. First of all, I, I, I'm sorry that you're going through what you're going through, right? Um, <laughs> I guess my question is, I know, and we can move forward with the regular Kendra G questions if you desire. But let me just ask this. Um, because of your experience, and it seems like it was a bad experience, um, I'm assuming there's a case going on with this situation of hate crime? Not, not of the hate crime. That's the thing that is is like we're, 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 we're being discriminated against. I really want to get this out there. There, there are 28 states in the United States of America that do not give gay people equal rights. They do not add them to the state hate crime. So under the United States Constitution, we are all supposed to be equally protected. But that's so with us being equally protected under the hate crimes, we are some of the most victimized group of individuals. But all the states that don't acknowledge the hate crime laws, they hide it. So you don't, you guys don't see half of the gay crimes that's going on because state laws, they don't even include us. 
So that would have to be federal. So in order for, for them to make money, if, if, if they have me, at a, they can charge me with attempted murder for, for a state crime and give me 20, not 20 to 99 years. And they have a guy that attempted to kill me, but it would be un, only under a federal, it would only be under a federal crime. The state don't make no money off of that. Yeah, but sir, you got to prove that it was an actual hate crime. If I remember, because I watched this video, I think like a week or so ago, maybe two weeks ago. If I remember correctly, he was in a relationship with this guy. I think he did say that. So I don't think they're looking at it as a hate crime. It, it's, it's more like a domestic dispute that obviously resulted in some violence because there was a firearm used. So I, I, that to me, that's that's the difference. And maybe that's why the state of Alabama is not looking at it as a federal hate crime, because it was somebody that you knew, opposed to someone you didn't know. So the state don't make no money from charging him federally. So it's a federal hate crime. So they supposed to send it to the federal courts, but they can take they can just charge you since it's a state crime and they can make tons of money off and falsely imprisoning you. Imagine going out on a date with this guy and this is the conversation at the at the table while y'all waiting on the waiter or waitress to bring you your drinks or your appetizer. Imagine him being this passionate about this conversation. Again, I understand, you know, fighting for rights. I totally get it. But if you're trying to convert from not being gay anymore, I, again, y'all, this is just my opinion. Why is it the gay rights? So why are you so passionate about it if you're trying to come out of that world? If, 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 if you're going into where you're wanting to date women and not the same sex, it, it's really given to me that he still feels that he's gay but he doesn't want to be gay anymore because of this traumatic experience. He believes God is punishing him for this. And he believes the way he can be delivered from this situation is by dating a woman. And they can just take you and just charge you and just cover it up and act like ain't nothing happened. There ain't nothing. There's so there is no hate crime. They, they literally are trying to cover it up. So and nobody's I guess doing I, nothing. I, 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 gotta I, gotta the I gotta ask more questions. Is the, the guy that did the hate crime is he alive yes okay so they're charging you though because you had to defend yourself against him yes but even after this dude I, I got police reports this dude has been threatening to take my life and everything and they still not doing nothing okay can i ask when did this happen is this years ago or recently um it happened it's it first happened a couple years ago but he's been committing crimes against me ever since it, the incident happened. Right. You're, you are dealing with a lot. You're dealing with a lot. I'm not equipped to help you. I wish I could. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking of who I could. So I have a question. If he's still uh, communicating with you via text messages, phone calls, emails, have why not put a restraining order out on him? At least that could be on record align you with because I always want to you know things like this I, I I would like to help if I can but you know I'm, I'm here to host the dating show I gotta ask this question so has your desire gone away for men because I think some of the situations with women when they consider dating men who once dated men are has your desire for men going away are you gonna cheat on her one day because you still have those urges no I'm I'm the type of man, man, I respect women so much. I would never, if a woman is willing to accept you for who you are, man, I, I, I couldn't see myself ever going. Do you mean if a woman is willing to accept you for who you were or who you are? Because you're presenting yourself as a man who's trying to convert. So wouldn't it be accept you for who you were instead of who you are? Which is no longer a man who who desires a man and currently a man who desires a woman and hurting a woman like that you know what i'm saying like that that's that goes against 
everything I'm about. You know what I'm saying? Like, to be honest, God delivered the the desire of wanting to be with a man for me years ago. Like, like years ago. You know, it, it's just I times where Israel. It, it's hard to even find a woman that's really going to accept you, a real hard Christian woman. Because even the Christian women, they judge you. You know what I'm saying? Like, like it's like it's hard out here you know what i'm saying like for someone to really be a down heart christian and not judge you and and say well his sins can be forgiven as well you know what i'm saying but but, but they don't see it like that they say oh you gay you just they just have their judgments you know what i'm saying um i don't know if i would necessarily call it judgment i may maybe call it your preference there are some women out here that will prefer not to date men who have previously dated men there are some women out here that would prefer to date a man that doesn't have the desires to sleep with other men. I, I don't know if that's judgment. I, I think that's just preference. Just like there are some black women who prefer to only date black men. And then there are black women who are open to dating outside of their race. It's, it's a preference. Okay. Okay. So I don't even know how to proceed with my questions because it's, I feel like my questions are so minuscule, <laughs> like little kid questions compared to what's really going on in your life right now. Um, I think outside of you having a past with men, it's more so just the things, the issues you're dealing with, right, in this moment. But let's just proceed. So you tell me what kind of woman you're looking for. Oh, you did. We, that was the first and only question I had. So do you want to elaborate more on the kind of woman you desire right now? She's going to have to be a a praying woman, a woman that really believes that Christ is coming back and he can deliver all and willing to accept me for who I am. You know what I'm saying? I, I am who I am. Sir, 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 you keep saying accept you for who you are. Who is that? Are you Neil the gay man or are you Neil the man that no longer desires a man? Because you keep wanting someone to accept you for who you are, but yet Kendra asked you a question would you desire a man again if you get with a woman and you said no, that you respect women, you wouldn't do that. But you keep saying who you are. Well, who are you? Because you came on the show saying that you want to date a woman. So are you a man who no longer desires women, which I don't know how that can happen overnight? Or are you a man who desires men, but God, you're scared to date a man or be it with a man because you think God's going to punish you. So you rather settle for a woman because you think that's the answer. There, there's no, let me say something. Let me just say this. Black women, we deal with enough. We, we got enough on our plate. This right here, we don't need no parts of this, sir. None whatsoever. We deal with too much every day already as it is of being very disrespected by all races. We don't need this garbage in our life. I'm sorry, you guys. I don't mean to offend anyone, but this is garbage. You don't need a woman to save you. You need God to save you. I am, you know, um, I would never cheat on a woman. I'm looking for complete deliverance and for us to build an empire and still fight for those because being gay is not a crime. You know what I'm saying? So now I feel like I have to fight for people that are gay and struggling with homosexuality for different reasons. You know what I'm saying? Because they're, they are discriminated against. And the only people that can judge them is God. You know what I'm saying? It's not a crime that a judge can sit there and judge you for. Okay. So what are your deal breakers? Uh, I agree, Miss TLD. I, I, I've never... He don't have any deal breakers, Kendra, because he doesn't desire women. He's using women, women as a go-to. If a real nice educated, God-fearing man slid in his DMs and he was attracted to them, in my opinion, he would test the waters. I thought about that part. Uh, just, of course, it would have to be a judgmental woman. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Someone that have insecurities, someone that believes exactly that's always going to think if, if I'm around the dude, if you're going to think that we having sex, is it's not going to work for you. You know what I'm saying? Especially with my mission. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to even get a woman that 
we can go on this together to where, you know, we can bring them and make them believers of Christ as well. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And not thinking, oh, we, we having sex or something like that. Okay. Um, does she look a certain way? Natural, just a natural beauty. Okay. Cause she, she wants to have a past. Cause she be bisexual. Does it matter to you? <laughs> yeah. I'm not just mental man. God delivers all things, okay. you know? Uh, what about money? Should she make a certain amount of money? Um, not really. No. So I'm she able to, you know, I believe. It. You know what? In my opinion, I don't feel like Kendra should have made this a highlight. Why even put this out there for the world to see? I understand Kendra G is, is not the protector of the internet, but this is one episode that she could have not made a highlight for potentially hundreds of thousand people to see. Like she definitely could have kept this one in the archives and she didn't have to bring this out because this man is not fit to even date another man, let alone a woman. He has a lot of trauma that he's dealing with. Regardless if he doesn't want to be gay anymore or he wants to continue to be gay, he needs to deal with his past relationship. He needs to get all that out of his system, get his mind right and focused, regardless if he wants a man or a woman. He's not fit for anybody right now. He has too many, he has too much going on and had too much trauma um, that he's dealing with to be good for anybody, man or woman. A man should take care of a household, um, but a lot of extras, I feel like she can take care of herself. Okay, let's do the Kendra can. Oh, Lord, uh, okay, uh, okay, I got court papers everywhere on my dining room table. Uh, we gotta be able to see your legs, Neil. He said he got court papers all on the dining room table. So, while you're sitting on Kendra G's show trying to convince women that you're ready you're still dealing with your current situation, which is a pending case. So you could potentially be going to prison too, based off the vague details that he gave us. So again, how do you think you're ready for anybody? You're fighting an a, a, a ongoing case right now. Who wants to get involved in that? What woman or hell, even man wants to get involved in that? My legs, I don't know about that. Right. Can I ask your height? It seems like you seem pretty tall. Yeah, I'm six feet. You're six feet. Okay. All right. We see you. We see you, love. Okay. So this is Neil, Birmingham, Alabama, 40. Um, has no children. He's a wardrobe stylist. Also an activist. So when was your last relationship? Ben. It's been a cool little minute. I couldn't even tell you. Uh, probably 2016. Okay. okay. Now, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Uh, probably, a, ooh, probably a few months ago, last Can year. year. Can I ask? Sir, I, I just stopped it because the answer is it was another man. Just a few months ago, you said, I'm just going to say January. You was with a man and now in April, you want a woman. See, this is what I'll be talking about. People playing games. Like, sir, you're, my God, so disgusting. The gender? Um, It. It was a man. It was a man. Now listen, I understand your love for the Lord. Of course it was a man. And I and I respect it. But do you feel in your heart of hearts that desire is truly gone and you really have a heart for a woman now in a in a, in a sexual manner? Yes. So with me, where the sex comes in at is just ah uh, that not Having, you know. Now, if y'all understand, if y'all notice how he hesitated to say that was a man, but you don't want people to judge you, but you don't even want to be honest. 
Because you really didn't want to answer that question because you felt like people were going to judge it. Well, people need to know that. The prospective woman that would even, I don't know, crazy enough to get in your DMs, she should know that. But you were hesitant to be truthful with yourself and with the world. So how some how can somebody trust what you're saying when you're not even truthful with yourself? You know, I also, you know, didn't, didn't really have parents growing up. So sex was the only way I knew how to love. You know what I'm saying? So it's not that I really desire to be with a man. It's just you know, sometimes you just desire to be loved and you get what you can accept. Okay. Oh my God. Oh my God. Pretty dope says therapy. So now sex is is the only is what you use is the mechanism you use to get love. So you said you you did it with a man because that's what you could get. Now, Neil, you're not a bad looking guy. I could see a woman allowing you to speak to her and, and I could see a woman allowing you to take her out on a date. So again, you took sex from a man because that's what you're attracted to, sir. That's what you're attracted to. Now you're trying to make people feel sorry for you and feel like, oh, poor thing. He didn't have love from his mother and father. He didn't have love for his family. So he fell victim to a man. Again, I don't know this man's backstory. I'm going based off the things he's allowing us to know and based off the things that you're sell telling us and me being uh, being a logical thinker, logically thinking, um, you didn't just have sex with a man because it was like a oops moment. That's what you desire. That's what you're attracted to, sir. Okay. Okay. So right now in that capacity, what I hear is you just want to love. And that's who was offering it to you. Okay. 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 Listen, I, I, I respect your transparency. And that's why I gave you the disclaimer in the beginning. Because I do want you to be aware that it's not just me and you. It's 100,000 people and more that's going to watch this. So you're fine with oh, it. Oh, damn. I didn't even that's think That's why I told that. you in the beginning. That's why I yeah. wanted to make sure you are aware. <laughs> I think... I love that people are so comfortable talking to me, but I think sometimes they think they're on FaceTime and I always want to let you know, <laughs> you're not on FaceTime, boo. You are not on FaceTime. Okay, so you, um, but you don't have to make this like- It's gonna be a highlight. Right? I mean, it's a part of this big ass video right here. That's why- But why is it big ass? That's why I in the beginning. That's why I literally gave you the out in the beginning. Yeah, I don't know. You just don't be- you know, sometimes also, you know, you just want, I don't know. No, I don't know. I understand. I get it. It can be therapeutic. What I will say is this. What I will say is this. You're going to touch a lot of people because I think there's people who are dealing with things that you're dealing with. And, and although you're looking for a woman, I think you're going to receive more DMs for people that are going to say, thank you for being transparent. I'm going through the same thing. So I think the way it's going to work for you is you're going to find you're going to I'm listen I'm, I'm going to be 1000 you will be judged because that's what my cousins do but oh yeah I'm you not know, you will listen, be judged man, but I do think listen, I, I know I, my, honestly, my god I'm not tripping yeah. off no people people but honestly, they going to think whatever they listen, want I honestly do <laughs> feel as though you're going to find people who are dealing with what you're dealing with you might even find a law person to help you with your case like the one thing about my show, this is why I know is God, God gave me. So that. now Kendra's trying to make like the reason why she made him the focal point, a highlight. That's the word she used because she feels like somebody will be able to help him. And that could be possible. It, it, he could, an attorney could feel like he could help him. Um, a a, a, a well-to-do man or a well-to-do woman might, you know, the fact that, this man needs more pouring into him than he can pour into anybody else. See, that's what I'm saying about when you're when you want to get into the re-acclimate yourself back into the dating scene. Like you need to make sure that you're 100 percent ready. Like what I've noticed with the Kendra G show is so many broken, not ready individuals that come on this show. It's like, sir, 
You are nowhere near ready to date another man or another woman. You have a lot of work that you need to work on, on your individual self. Like, personally, the only person that can help you right now is a therapist and possibly, a, you know, a minister or a pastor or something like that, since you're talking about Christianity, you know? So I, I don't understand why he felt like this was a good idea. It, it was given that he watches Kendra G show for entertainment and he wanted to be entertained and he decided to shoot his shot. But you're you're nowhere near ready. Like you're you're possibly facing jail time as well, too, because the pending case that you're involved in. What woman or man would want to be involved in that? This platform to touch all people. You, you, I get DMs from people all the time about things that have happened to them after they've come on the show outside of love. So I honestly do believe it's going to do more good for you than I do feel that way. I hope so. so. I, I, I do. Thank you for allowing me. I wasn't really I expecting it, you know, especially, you know, the old girl, too. I, I, I tried to pay, send some stars because she was talking about people. You was, you was uh, um, speaking on her judging as well. Um, and she was speaking about people that's been incarcerated. You know, she don't want to date them. But at the end of the day, you don't know if they wrongly incarcerated or not. I've been, I'm a victim of that. I know for a fact, this stuff, everything that they put out in the media ain't true. They, they paint this story. They get paid. Sir, sir, sir. It, it doesn't matter if you were wrongly convicted or not. The, the woman that you were speaking about, the previous woman on Kendra G show, her preference is not to date anybody with a criminal history. That, that's her preference. Uh, She's not an attorney. She's not here to judge if you're guilty or not guilty. She don't even want to get involved with those conversations. She simply said she would prefer not to date anyone with a criminal history. That's it. That's all. Like you getting highly offensive about you got stuff going on in your life. You're, you're a gay man. You, you're facing possible jail time. Like you got a lot going on, sir. You're mad because somebody will potentially pass you up because, again, they feel like that's too much to put on their plate. It's too much for people to bear, especially when people are already dealing with their own personal issues, whatever those may be. Then they got to endure yours, too. I, me personally, that's too much. To paint a story to make you believe that these people are guilty and we just take it and we just run with it. We just, oh, they say he's guilty. Oh, he's guilty. He did everything he said. Come on. I'm, I'm, trust me. I know that stuff is not true. I know that for a fact. No, I, I mean, I could co-sign that. I could co-sign, you know, people. I mean, I don't have to co-sign. We could all co-sign. I'm quite sure everybody knows the story, knows a person who actually is wrongly incarcerated. So, no, that's a, that's a true statement. That's a true statement. Last question for you, Neil. Why would a woman be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm a sir. Please don't say you're nice and funny and, and child fighter. I'm a lover. I'm passionate. I seek to be the best man I can be. I seek. Yeah, you're a lover, but for the past twenty years, you've been loving a man, sir. But you're saying you're desiring a woman. How does how does the woman know that you're going to be that much of a good lover to her? When it sounds like I'm not going to say he's he can't he's not attracted to women. It just sounds like he's just been dealing with men. I, again, I don't know what he's actually like. If he see a nice looking woman, I don't know what he feels like as a nice looking woman. Because if you notice, he's never described what type of woman he's looking for. Kendra has asked him this question at least twice that I can remember. And he never gave a description of what type of woman he's desiring. In my opinion, that's because he's not necessarily desiring one. He just wants one. To leave. I seek vindication. I seek love, you know. Seek love. Listen, I'm, I'm going to pray for you, Neil, because I know you're going through some things. And 
Um, I pray that God comes to you and heals you in the ways you desire to be healed, but more so just gives you the understanding. I always want to tell people I am not a therapist, so I, I, I don't pretend to be a therapist. I don't even claim to be a dating coach. I am a journalist who decided to host a dating show. But I would encourage you, if you don't already have it, to get into some type of therapy that, that can help you with this journey because I think you're going to need that in order in a, and as well as God to help you become the man that you desire to become. Thank you very much. I definitely and will. you well wishes. So for the woman and it's women only, right? I want to be clear. Do men have an opportunity? Yes, most definitely women only, but, but I do in, in this mission of activism, of activism, if someone just needs to reach out and speak, no, nothing sexual. It had nothing sexual at all. You know, we I I have to have boundaries in my spiritual journey. You know what I'm saying? But so if you have to have boundaries in your spiritual journey, I wouldn't even invite anyone, a man, to seek I don't know advisement or counsel. If if it's just strictly women, sir, it, there should be no but. If somebody is going through the same thing and just want somebody to talk to, that's fine, but nothing sexual with no men. Nothing sexual, we got that clear. So how could the woman reach out to you though? Uh, Neil Beard on Neil Facebook. Neil Beard. N-E-A-L-B-E-A-R-D. Tell it one more time, love. N-E-A-L-B-E-A-R-D, I think. Uh, yeah, I think that's what it is. Is that, is that what's Well, showing? I can't see it until I try to disconnect you. Okay, yes, it is it. Neil. Okay, yeah. And then the word beard, B-E-A-R-T. Neil. Yes, ma'am. Listen, right. I'm, I'm sending you nothing but love, honey. Hi. Right. Oh, boy. That was a lot. Mr. Neil Beard. Um, and, and it sounds like that's what you want to use the woman for, women for, excuse me. Um, I see a lot of you guys were in the chat, you know, advocating for the black woman. And y'all know, y'all, as black women, y'all know we go through a lot, Okay. Um, we're, we're supposed to, you know, take on the troubles of the entire world and, and we're tired to being dumped on. Okay. We want, we want men to take us seriously because we're trying to take them seriously. And Neil seems to be a man who's not taking women seriously. You know, you want women to accept you for who you are, but you said, you're saying you're not him anymore or you, that, that man that you were. So what do you want women to accept? Right, Therese, we're tired, okay? We're tired of being the mommies to grown-ass men. We want to be mommies to our children, not these grown-ass men who were born to mommies. <sighs> Racist says, we tired of fixing it. We, not, we are not Jesus. <laughs> exactly, says we tired of it. And then when we get them all fixed up and ready to go, what they do? They go on about their business. Um, and go on to the next one. Okay. So then we, we didn't, all this work we didn't put in and we have no just rewards from it. Okay. No, ma'am. I don't have the time. No, we, we don't. Virgo Diva. Exactly. Um, Shines Trudell. Exactly. Hey, S. Wiseman. Um, we don't, we don't want no loose bussy. Oh, not loose bussy. Oh, Lord. Hey, Janae. Yeah, we're just not for it, you guys. We're, we're just not for it. And as women, we got to learn how to stand up for each other. And, you know, and we also got to stop stop accepting anything. And, y'all, we got to stop acting like we can fix these men, okay? We are not Bob the Builder, all right? Baby, stop acting like you can fix these men. Because guess what? These men are not trying to fix you, honey. They get on this show, they get on these websites, and they tell you exactly what they want from a woman. They tell you what size you need to be, what shade you need to be, if your hair needs to be real or not, if he, if he want makeup or no makeup. These men tell you exactly what they want. And when they go to your profile, if you're not giving what they want, they move on to the next. They don't try to fix you and make you a perfect woman. But women, we always trying to fix a man. But the men never try to fix us, y'all. Stop trying to fix these men. Let them fix their damn selves, okay? Because we got enough going on, especially the women with children, okay? You said we're not door to explore over here. 
Um, Goody said, if I lose my husband, I promise I won't date again. I'm getting five dogs and a pen. Because <laughs> nope. Yes, honey. It's a mess out here. It is a mess out here. For all the ladies that's out here dating and men too, because let's let's be honest, these women, uh, uh, shit, y'all mess too, okay? It's definitely a mess. Um, Black and Bougie says, stop caring about the desires of males, straight or not. Yeah, that's true, sis. That's definitely too, true. Um, they just, you said never, Tasha, they just get uh, passports, okay? Ain't fixing no damn ninja. Takesha said, baby, I ain't doing it, Okay. All right, y'all, we got time for one more. Let's do one more. Y'all want to do one more? If you want to do one more, put a one in the chat, and we'll go on to one more. I got a lady I want y'all to see. Um, I'm going to wait for some ones. Or, and if you don't want to do one more, we could just we can wait till the next time, and I'll bring another one on here. Racist says she want to do one. Hey, blessed. Black and bougie one. Okay, Jenny. Okay, y'all, let's do one more, all right? All right, so now I'm going to bring you guys a mom of five. I got a mom of five on here, y'all, and she looking for her a man, okay? And I said, oh, Lord. Uh, now, this woman says she um, preference. She has a preference, okay? She has a preference in the type of man that she wants. So let's, let's go on and see what type of man she says is desir desiring. Excuse me, y'all. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Okay. Whoop, whoop. I can't see your face, boo. There we go. All right. What's your name, love? Brenda. Brenda. Got a baby. <laughs> you don't know Brenda. how much I hear that. <laughs> Got a baby. You have a baby, Brenda? A couple of them. Okay. Hey, Tupac was talking about you. I think so. No, <laughs> he wasn't talking about me. Miss <laughs> I got all my babies. They ain't in no dumpsters. Okay, don't cut your head off. Bridget, how old are you, girl? I am 32. 32. Okay, since we got there early, how many kids you have? Um, I have five. You have five, five kids, girl. How old are your five kids? Um, four. Eight, six, four, and two. All about the same man? Um, no. How many men? Five men. Five men? No, no Brenda. Why are you not with the two year old dad? Um, I don't know, honestly. I wanted to be with him. Um, monogamy is not something he wanted. All right, sis. So if monogamy is something he did not want, why was you screwing him with no protection, ma'am? If you knew he did not want to be with just one woman, that woman being you, since why was you screwing that man with no condom and then produce the baby out of it? Why, sis? Like, you, prior to this last baby, you already had four kids by four different men and it didn't work out because you weren't with any of those men. So why did you try with yet another man that was not giving you monogamy, ma'am? They kill me. They act like Kendra, is, Kendra G Show is the cleanup woman. Girl, who is going to clean up this mess? Why are you not with the four-year-old dad? Um, we, we have good communication. It was honestly never a real committed relationship, more of a friendship. Okay. Why are you not with the six-year-old dad? Um, yeah, he's in jail for a while. Okay, eight year old dad. Uh, um, a horrible relationship we had, um, ended very bad. He's not involved in his son's life either anymore. Okay, and I'm assuming 14 year old, you was you was young. Yeah, I was 17. So, well, what do you do for a living, Brenda? Um, I'm a phlebotomist. Um, but I wear many hats. I've done many things. Right now, I'm not doing phlebotomy. I'm just working at a gas station currently. Okay. Do me a favor. Don't cut your head off. You gotta... <sighs> okay. So, you, so she asked you what you do for a living. Why did you tell us about phlebotomy when you're not working as a phlebotomist? You should have said that you work at a gas station. You're a gas station attendant. Now, you got five kids, five baby daddies. 
one of them incarcerated. The other one don't have no um, dealings with one. Of the so that's two daddies. So you got three daddies. It, we just going to assume those two daddies are not paying child support, especially the one in jail. So since how are you managing? Again, I don't know what they're making at the gas station now. Uh, child was at the gas station the other day, and I seen a sign where they said starting off at 1875. I said, well, damn. But again, um, I forgot where she said she was from. Did she say she lived in Atlanta? I think she said she lived in Atlanta. I can't remember. Um, so since how are you taking care of five kids on one income? I'm able to see your forehead. Sorry. Okay. I can Rizal, see I'm my question. I'm gonna get to this question early, so I'm gonna give you a chance to respond. Now, if I make you a highlight, people may say five kids, five men, that's a lot. So what would you say to the man or anybody that is saying that? Um, I don't have any drama, none, none whatsoever. Um, um, financial support is not what I need. I just want a companion, um, someone to love me for me um, and my kids, you know, um, not that I'm looking for a father because they have their own fathers or father figures. Um, I just want someone to, to spend the rest of my life with. To spend the rest of your life with. Okay. And, and you couldn't find that out of the five different men that you got kids with, sis? All right, let's get into it. Wait, no, I'm not done. What's your zodiac sign? I'm a Libra. A Libra. And what city are you calling me from? Um, Toledo. Toledo. Toledo, Ohio, correct? Yeah. Okay, yeah. she in Ohio. So we got Brenda, 32, Libra. Um, she lives in Toledo, Ohio. Works currently at a gas station. Also has been a, phil a phlebotomist, if I can say it right, in the past. Mine of five kids by five men. Have you ever been married? Um, no. Oh. Okay. All right, girl. Excuse me. You ready? Yes. Okay. What, what kind of man you looking for? Girl, imagine. Do y'all seen how she had to get up and shut the door because the kids were making too much noise? Imagine your kids is out in in the other part of the house having some type of commotion going on, and what you instead of you going out there addressing what's going on, you just shut the door so you can get you another baby dad, honey. I said, ooh. I'm just a genuine down to earth. Um, I am looking for monogamy. Um, someone hard working, dedicated to what he wants to do. Okay. What are your deal breakers? Um, um, not a good father if he has children. Um, abusive, um, controlling, or just a bum. <laughs> or just a bum. Okay. Do we got to look a certain way? No, um, I do prefer black men. Okay. What's your ethnicity, if you don't mind me asking? I'm white. You're white, Caucasian. <laughs> okay. Um, this is another question. Hopefully it's not too invasive. Are all your children's dads black or are they different ethnicities? Um, they are. My youngest son, he's mixed with um, black and Hispanic. Okay. Now, I'm curious, why did Kendra ask that question? What does that have to do with her dating or wanting to find someone on this show? Like, why does that matter if all her other baby daddies are black? And the other four? They're black and white. So they're all, all mixed. All your children's dads are men black and white? Yes, ma'am. Okay. But you prefer this time a black man? Yes. No, all their fathers are black. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. I guess mixed black and white is still black. Okay. Right. Got it. Um, no, Kendra. Y'all got to understand. Kendra, she don't be listening. Kendra, don't be listening. Kendra, she said that her last baby's father is mixed with black and Hispanic, but all her other children are fathers are black. When she say mix, meaning she's white, the father's black. So that means they're biracial. Kendra thought she was saying that the fathers that she has kids with are all biracial men. Kendra, do not be listening. Be able to take care of himself and um, provide a little for me because I do have five kids. So support is always, always wonderful. Okay. So what way? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, sis. Hold on. You just said a few moments ago that you didn't need a man for financial assistance. 
You said that you got it because you work at the gas station and you also a phlebotomist when you feel like doing it. But now you're saying support would be helpful. So which one is it, sis? Are, are you able to support on your own or do you need the support of someone else? What do you want to provide? Do you want them to help you pay some bills? Are you taking the kids out? Like what, what is your definition of helping you to provide? What? Being a just being there as a man, not paying my bills because I pay my own bills. But, you know, there's times I fall short of things that I could always use someone to help me, you know, if I'm a little short or just just being there, you know. Well, sis, if you can handle it financially, how are you falling short? That sounds like you're not managing your money wisely. So hush, girl. You want a man to come in and help pay some bills. If he living up in that house, sound like you'll let him live up in there. And if he living up in there, you need a man with a job to help pay some bills. Just say that. No, um, okay. I don't know. <laughs> That's okay. really about could he it. Have, could he have kids already? Yeah, I don't mind. Okay, you don't mind. Um, let's do the Kendra Cam. Uh oh. Okay. Let me see where I'm gonna set my phone. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> my kids are busting in at me. <laughs> I can't even see my own camera. Okay. I mean, you don't look bad for five kids. <laughs> you know. I don't understand. Kendra says that a lot. When people tell her they have multiple children, like more than two, she always says, well, you don't look bad to have five kids. Well, what are you supposed to look like if you have? See, I, I don't think Kendra has any children. So every every woman that's birthed more than one child, Kendra, is not round as a, a basketball, right? Like there are some women that got that snapback. Then obviously there are some who are not. Like I hate when she does it. Oh, you don't look bad to have five kids. Well, how was she supposed to look having five kids? Just because you have multiple children don't mean you got to be all let yourself go. There are women who actually work on their weight and get themselves back. Or there's some women who just snap back naturally. I hate when she says that. <laughs> um, Brenda, when was your last relationship? Um, two years ago. Two years ago. Okay, you don't have to answer, but I'm going to ask. When's the last time you was intimate with someone? Two weeks ago. Who was you with two weeks ago, girl? I got friends, Kendra. Well, okay. Are they options? Like, why can't you be with these men? Why not? Um, I just can't find anyone that wants monogamy. Everyone wants to do what they want to do. No one really wants to step up. I know I'm alone. Uh, I got five kids. It's, it's a struggle. It's real. But. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Girl, you. It's giving poor Punani management over there, sis. It's definitely giving that. So you got five kids. You're on Kendra G's show looking for a man. You just had sex with a man two weeks ago, but he's not a candidate. Sis, it's giving poor ussy management because why are you letting this man jump up and down in you and you just said he don't want monogamy? So are you not using protection? I'm just going to say you're using protection. Uh, child, I don't know you, but it's, it's insane to say that you want a man that wants to be monogamous, but yet you're sleeping with a man that doesn't want to be monogamous with you. But yet you're on Kendra G show looking for another candidate. <laughs> Baby, and you wonder why you got five kids by five different men and single. But, um, I'm a good person, you know, I'm a loving, caring person, genuine. Okay, so you're okay with having Black friends and sex? Not forever. But I, I mean, I got needs as of right now too. But if I met the right man, I would. I, there's nothing that I wouldn't stop doing for him. Okay. So if you met a guy, sis says she got needs. Girl, you 32 with five damn kids by five different men. Your needs ain't been met yet. You could be with then the friendship guy would will be gone. He'll oh be yeah. Gone.
heartbeat. Now, do you want more kids? No. No. I don't so, want the five I got, but I love them. I, I have a question. So are you saying it's because you have needs, you can't potentially try the rule unless you're in a relationship not to have sex? I'm sorry. What, what do you okay, mean? Have you ever thought about only having sex if you're in a committed relationship? Have you ever thought about oh, that? Yeah. I have. I have. Um, but it, it comes rare. I don't know. I, I, I've really had trouble. No, sis, it don't come rare. Okay. You just giving your ussy up to any man that allows you to like, if he say, yeah, you can jump on it. Then that's what you do, sis. There are, there are men out here that wouldn't mind just sleeping with one woman being you. Right. But you, you're just taking it how you get it, sis. You can't expect for a man to want to be monogamous with you when it's just as easy to sleep with you and still doing what he's doing on the side, sis. Why, why would he just be monogamous? Be like, what, what are you giving for him to, like, you're not, you know, you, you're not being stingy with the ussy. Girl, you're not doing nothing. Did he come on, he call you in the middle of the night and say he want to come through. Girl, you get up and go downstairs and unlock the damn door. Finding men that want to be committed. Okay. And I'm I'm like really hard to deal with if I I don't I'm not hard to deal with but if I see that, that you're stepping out then I'm I'm like I'm not about to sit here and be faithful to someone that's not faithful to me. That's a, I understand. I, I I do want to say that I think in the dating aspect you I should date, right? I always tell women I don't say to have sex with a lot of men. We should definitely date as much as possible. But you're with a guy two weeks ago. And I mean, you're, listen, you're grown and I respect that you have needs. But when y'all ask for a committed monogamous relationships, then the guys watching are going to say, well, why should I potentially rise all the way to the occasion when I know I can still have sex without rising to the occasion? Well, that's the thing. I'm not just having sex with anybody. This guy I've been dealing with for a while, he is just a friend, and I know that doesn't make it much better. Yeah, you may not be having sex with anybody other than him, but the fact remains, he's having sex with more than just you. So you might as well have sex with several other men, because when you sleep with him unprotected, more than likely, you sleeping with everybody else he's sleeping with, sis. Like, after five kids, you don't know that by now? I've just been sleeping with this guy that I'm not in a relationship with, but we do have a good bond, a good spiritual bond. Um, and I do really like him and did want to be with him. But like I said, monogamy is just not his thing. So I'm not going to pressure him. And wait, hold on, hold on. What spiritual bond? Y'all be reading the Bible in bed? How do y'all, what, what do you constitute as having a good spiritual bond? When you sleep with, you slept with this man two weeks ago. Have you talked to him since the last time you slept with him? Do he call you and y'all do daily prayer together? Girl, what you mean y'all got a good spiritual body? Girl, you just running your damn mouth. You don't even know what you're talking about. Y'all got a good spiritual bond, but you can't get him to be committed to you. You can't even get this man to make you, to say, hey, you want to be my woman? You want to be my girlfriend? You can't even get him to say that. But y'all got a good spiritual bond. Girl, hush. I do have needs, so I am sleeping with one person, so, you know, and I made that decision to only sleep with one instead of just keep roaming and dating. And So you're sleeping know. with one, but he's sleeping with more women than just you. I'm pretty positive. Okay, and you're... Yeah. yeah. Virgo Diva said he got that good duh. And you're fine with that? No. That's why I, I'm here, Kendra, talking to you. I want it to end. I want to move I want to, you know, I don't want to jump in with somebody. I want to get to know them. I want them to get to know me um, and potentially move forward with someone to a better life, you know? Well, let me ask you this. And I, and I understand that. Could you cut him off if there wasn't another guy? Because like, oh, right yeah. now, like, like, could you just get to the point where I want more? Now, granted, there's not another option, right. but I know what I want. You can't give. So for me, Regardless of another man showed up, let me just cut you off. Yeah. You can ever do that, or will you only end this if you find another guy? I, I could definitely do it, and I have kind of started. Hold on, hold on, girl, hush. 
let me talk about what AK, who is it? Who is this? AKA just said, AKA said, hold on, sis. Now let me let me read your resume. You got five kids, five men, still sleeping around, broke, working at the gas station. All she's missing is her YouTube channel. Child, no, she's not gonna be one of the mommies. Ha! Uh, lives life cousin over here to do it i don't deal with him as much as i used to i don't give him much of myself or my space but i do backtrack sometimes when you know needs arise or i'm lonely i get lonely i've sit in the house with five kids a lot you know so i i long for that companion or that touch girl hush you long for that girl if you would go back to school um enhance your education um, make a better life for your children so you won't fall short with your bills from time to time. Girl, that's a lot you can do to occupy yourself. Um, duh, ain't the only way to occupy yourself. Girl, I'm not talking about you long for compassion. You just had sex with this man two weeks ago. So you ain't had, you ain't seen this man in two damn weeks. Okay. So uh, what'd he, what he do? Fill you up good enough so he ain't got to, what'd he do? Come around every two, three weeks, he come around and Dump off in you and go on about his business, girl. You need more than a man, honey. You need Jesus. I don't know, but yeah, most definitely. I understand. I, I, I do understand, but always remember actions speak louder than words. And this guy, yeah, he has this guy probably is never gonna settle down because what would be the reason, right? <laughs> like, exactly. you know, but okay, enough of him, enough of him. Um, did I ask you the three flaws you have to work on? No, I don't think so. Um, that, that right there. <laughs> Sleeping outside of a relationship. Um, um, I would say um, I tend to shut out when I um, when I feel overwhelmed or um, go to the corner. Sis. I don't know. I just I'll shut out or tune out, ignore stuff a lot. I gotta stop doing that. And um, my career, that's a flaw of mine. I need to get back on track with that. Didn't I just say that? I just said that. She said her career, that's a flaw of her. She need to get back on it. Yeah, instead of getting back on that dick, you need to get back in them books, girl, and enhance your life. Like you got five kids. And I, I think she said her oldest when she got five kids under the age of 10 or something like that like girl yeah instead of worrying about some men coming over there tickling your damn fancy why don't you work on making a better life for you and your children are you a homeowner are you written girl do you get section a you live in the project now, what is going on over there man see that's what i be talking about and then y'all be wondering these women be wondering why their lives are going like they are why they can't find the right man because since you're not the right woman like you got some stuff. It don't have anything to do with the fact that you got five kids. A lot of the women, S wise men, um, I think that was goodies, mentioned how, you know, back in the day, their their grandparents met men who and their grandmothers already had children and the and the grandfather married them and gave them one more or two more, and, and the man came and paid the bills. Now I'm not saying that, you know, obviously y'all that was back in the day. I'm not saying men are not still being built like that. It's kind of far and few between, but there are some out there. But instead of you waiting for a man to build you up, why don't you get yourself ready to receive that man? So once he come in, baby, he ain't got to do no work, right? Because you already there. You already where you need to be, regardless if you got five. Here's my thing, y'all. Her having five kids shouldn't be a deterrent for any man, right? Because if he gets to know her and loves her for who she is, he's going to accept everything that comes with her right just all the same if she met a man with five kids if she gets to know the man she loves the man he's a you know the right candidate for her and her family then she would accept him for all that he has to bring with her so but my thing is this you just mentioned you need to get your career together so instead of some worries about somebody coming over to scratching your ussy sis why don't you focus see that's what i'm saying you spending your time looking for a man on kendra g when you could be looking for some online school to further your education Okay. And um, why would a guy be lucky to be with you? Um, I'm down to earth. I'm genuine. Um, I'm willing to adjust um, to any situation. Um, willing to learn to love um, another. 
you know, um, I don't discriminate in any way, shape, or form. Okay, so don't discriminate in any way, shape, or form. We got Brenda, 32, Libra. Oh, what's the age range you would date? Um, I would say 30, 32 to like 45. 32 to 45. Um, should he be in Ohio? I would prefer that. And if he's not, he would have to get himself to Okay. Sis said she can't do no traveling, child. She ain't got no damn babysitter. Ha! Girl, you can't even date a man in another state because you ain't got nobody watch them damn kids or you ain't got no money for no flights. And let's do it. How can the guy reach out to you? Um, My Facebook, which is just my name, Brenda Strong. Brenda Strong. Brenda Strong. All right, here we go. Not Brenda Strong, like strong mommy Chrissy. Strong mommy Brenda. <laughs> Brenda Strong, 32 Libra, gas station, um, but comes, but also works as a phlebotomist. Mom of five kids by five men. Um, and she's in Toledo, Ohio, with date 32 to 45. How can they, oh, you tell me how the guy can reach out to you, right? Yeah. Brenda Strong. All right, Brenda Boo Boo, you keep me both out with those girls. Thank you. Well, actually, Black and Bougie, she's in Toledo. She says she's in Toledo, Ohio. Oh, Lord, y'all, there you have it. Poor thing over there. You know, there's nothing wrong with wanting companionship. I'm not saying she shouldn't desire companionship. But my thing is, sis got a lot of other stuff she needs to work on. Um, I would just assume, first and foremost, child, your damn uh, finances. That's the first thing, you know. You can't even date a man that don't even live in the same city or state as you because you, you know, I'm just going to assume, child, you ain't got gas money or you ain't got no damn babysitting money, okay? That child, that was a mess over there, Brenda, looking for her another boot thing, and she just had sex with one two damn weeks ago. I don't understand it. Talking about her, him and her got spiritual, uh, great spiritual ties. Girl, no, nah, you need to stop letting all them soul ties in your damn body over there, okay? You should do these types of week ties. Oh, girl, I got so many. I just got them in the archives. But I'm definitely going to start doing more of those, uh, more of those Kendra G reactions because I, I like those, you guys. I like seeing those because it really just shows us what's going on in this world. You know, yes, we watch the moms and things of that nature, but y'all, we, we didn't kind of ran through them. It, it ain't really too much going on unless one of them come pregnant. That's the only tea over there with them. Let's be honest. What tea do they really got going on? Not too much of anything. But these are good to watch because it just really shows you. And something else I noticed about the Kendra G show. Everybody coming on this show saying they need a man to make 100000 They need a man to make. I seen one today. The woman said she need her man to make $250,000 a year. I said, oh, girl, $250,000? Girl, if you're looking for a man that makes 250000 why are you on the Kendra G show? Do you not have some friends that you can, that could possibly fix you up with a man that makes a quarter of a million dollars? And when Kendra G asked her, do she make that much money? She said no. Well, why do you need him to make that much if you don't even make that much? I mean, I get it because you don't make that much, but you're asking for a man to come. And this woman, I believe she has four kids, okay? She's divorced four kids, and she lives in Atlanta. I said, not $250,000. I said, girl, well, good luck with that, honey, because I'm just want to assume the men that's making $250,000 a year, baby, they not breaking their neck to come watch the Kendra G show, okay? They out making more money, and they're running in circles where it's not hard for them to find women. I'm just going to assume that, all right? All right, y'all, that's my time, honey. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If you guys enjoy these Kendra G reactions, please make sure you guys hit the like button, clock out the break room. And if you catch us in the replay, give us your honest opinion of what you felt about Neil and his trauma bonding that he's trying to cultivate over there. Um, let us know what, how, what do you guys think the end result is going to be over there for Neil. And then definitely give your opinion about Brenda and what you thought about her. And TMR is definitely going to see you in the next one, honey. Remember, sir, what you love. Bye.